Hey guys, I just came on to do a quick video. Um, I didn't realize that I don't have a whole lot of space left on my phone. But anyway, um, the narcissist, we all talk about how the narcissist does not have a type. And they don't. Um, because they will literally get with anyone. They'll sleep with anyone. Men, women, trans. You know, they, she, him, it, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, they'll sleep with it, you know. Anything with a hole, basically, a narcissist will sleep with. They don't discriminate, and, um, yeah, a lot of them are pedophiles, you know, they do molest babies and children and stuff and rape babies. That's what a narcissist is. That's what they do. They're demons. Um, narcissist, borderline males do this too. Borderlines, narcissist, um, histrionic psychopaths, they're all the same. Um, but yes, the narcissist type is the She-Hulk. <laughs> A lot of people have been saying this in the comments of my videos because I've stumbled upon this and a lot of y'all have where you'll be out with the narcissist and they will point out the, the biggest, manliest looking woman like in the entire room, you know, like they'll point out like a She-Hulk, basically a She-Hulk, you know, they could be the Hulk's wife. Like that's who they'll fucking point out in the crowd to try to make you as a beautiful woman try to feel jealous and insecure over that bullshit over that piece of shit that's what a narcissist male does because he thinks that gives him a sense of superiority to be able to be like ha ha see bitch i don't even like you that's my type right there you know and it's his way of basically saying fuck you you know uh by pointing out the she hulk in the room the She-Hulk. And that really is the narcissist type. That's his type, is the She-Hulk. The She-Hulk, yes. The narcissist male wants a She-Hulk. Why? Bec and some co commenter said because that's his type and he he really wants a man because he's, he's a misogynist. He hates women. So the narcissist male is down low, definitely gay, down low, at least bisexual, but really wants to fuck men. He doesn't like women. He just uses women to put on an image of being somewhat normal, somewhat, but no, nah, he wants to be with a man. So, but he, he'll happily use a woman, you know, for free unpaid therapy, um, you know, to use her for her money, whatever he wants her for, but he does not like her. He doesn't like women. That's why you'll see narcissist males, they can go out with the most beautiful, you know, successful, whatever women, and they'll treat them all like trash. Why do you think that is? Because he doesn't even like women. That's why. Like I said, narcissist men, they're misogynist, uh, mama's boys, you know, they're enmeshed with their mom. They have a toxic, disgusting, enmeshed relationship with her. And she'll come before you, definitely. He'll put her before you. He'll put basically all the females in his life before you, but his woman, his, his woman, because he doesn't give a fuck about you. That's why he'll put like his toxic family member, female family members, friends, whoever, you know, friends, he's fucking on the side behind your back, all this shit. And he'll put them all before you because he doesn't, he's, he's showing you through all his actions that he doesn't care about you, you know, and that's why you have to see it from the jump. I mean, you see the red flags. You can see this within the first one or two dates and you can cut that motherfucker off. You can cut him off at the knees. You know, it's just like with cancer. You know, when you're dating someone, you have to be able to identify their red flags and get the fuck out of there before they can cause harm to you and damage to you. You know, that's how you prevent trauma is you're able, you have to be able to spot the red flags in someone who's dangerous and cut them the fuck off before they can touch you, before they can do any damage to you. Now, this is what people don't learn. They don't learn how to spot the red flags and how to cut, peop cut people off with a swiftness and never look back. You know, we're not taught this. We're taught by society, oh, you got to be kind. You got to give people a second chance. Give them No, the fuck you don't. You don't, have, you don't owe anyone shit in this life. You don't owe anyone a goddamn thing. You don't even want an explanation. You cut people off, go some, and just disappear. And who gives a fuck? Because at the end of the day, in real life, nobody cares about how you feel. They don't care about your feelings, your fifis. Okay, that's the real world. That's the real adult world. Nobody owes anyone anything. So, but what I'm saying is, yeah, that's his type, is the She-Hulk, okay? Um, that's why he points her out. That's why he really wants to be with the She-Hulk, yes. Um, it's really disturbing, it's disgusting. But yeah, that, that they, they worship she-males, She-Hulk women. 
because they really want to be with a man. That's their type as a man, not a woman. Um, you know, like I said, they, they compete with beautiful, attractive, successful women. They fucking hate women. They hate anything feminine. Um, they hate women who, who stand up to them, who stand up for their, you know, to protect themselves against a narcissist male. Oh yeah, they hate women with boundaries, basically. But it's funny how the narcissist like to, likes to talk a good game about how he understands boundaries, but he doesn't mind trampling women's boundaries that he's out with. You know, by fucking flirting in front of them, doing all kinds of bullshit to hurt them. He doesn't give a fuck about anyone else's boundaries, especially women's boundaries. But he cares a lot about his own. Okay? And men's boundaries, but he doesn't give a fuck about women because he's a fucking misogynist. He's trash. He's trash. He's trash. He's fucking white trash if he's a white narcissist. He's Asian trash if he's an Asian narcissist. He's fucking trash. He's a fucking trash can. And you should kick his fucking ass to the curb the second you see him pull that bullshit of talking about other women in front of you, talking about his ex, going on and on. Fucking block his ass. Block him on fucking everything. And that's how you deal with a narcissist. And you show them you fucking don't put up with bullshit and you're not going to take his shit not for one second. That's how you show him you are strong and you aren't weak and you're not going to put up with his bullshit. That's how you show him he can't fuck with you. So I'm just saying that. I'm just putting that out there. But that is how you defeat a narcissist. You block them on everything. You don't have any more communi further communication. And if they try to contact you, you tell them, I'm going to call 911. I'm going to call the police if you continue further contact with me. That's how you deal with a narcissist. And you let them know very clearly if they see you in public to not look at you, to not acknowledge you. You do not want them to look at you. You do not want acknowledgement. They don't exist to you. Okay? That's how you have to treat them. You have to treat them like a fuck, the bubonic fucking plague. That's how you treat a narcissist, like the bubonic plague, like the trash they are. Like if you touch them, you're going to get the fucking black plague. That's how you have to treat a narcissist because that's what they are. They're like a black plague, basically, uh, in this society. They, they're, they're a black plague to this earth, to this society. They bring nothing of value to anyone's life or this society. They bring nothing good, nothing of value, nothing of positive value. So I just want to say that. But anyway, I got to get going. I got to go to the gym and I will talk to you.